to the Oak Run Band parent information video. This is for the Oak Run Symphonic Band, 7th Grade Honor Band, and the Wind Ensemble. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Anna Zintek and I teach 7th Grade Honor Band Brass and am the lead director for the Wind Ensemble. This video will include information such as the 2021 ORMS Band Uniform, our syllabus, our teacher and band websites, how we use Canvas and Band, and the general information about the Oak Run Unicorn Band program. First of all, we have placed a considerable amount of thought on this year's band uniform. Only for the 2021 school year, the ORMS Advanced Band Uniform will consist of the following. Black dress shirt or blouse, long black pants or black jeans, a black belt if needed, long black socks, and all black shoes. A black dress or skirt is acceptable, however, the length, because we are playing instruments, must be at least to the knees when standing. Let's go over our teacher websites next. You'll find in our teacher websites that we have included a syllabus and general information about the classes, as well as our contact information and schedule. Most band information can be found on the oakgrunband.com website and will include such thing as our band calendar, supplies, information, and private lesson teacher information. Hi everybody, my name is Adrian Esquivel, and I am co-teacher of the 7th grade honor band, symphonic band, and I teach the wind, woodwinds in the wind ensemble. If you take a look at our advanced band syllabus, you'll notice that there's a book your child will need for band this school year. If they're in symphonic band or 7th grade honor band, they're going to need this Ed Sueda Brown book that we used last school year. If they are in wind ensemble, they should already have this blue book from the year before, but if they haven't, it's called Foundations of Superior Performance, and you can find the full name and everything on our syllabus. Percussionist, uh, you will need Simple Steps for Successful Beginning Percussion by Keenan Wiley. Uh, we will progress into another method book within the school year, probably after December with the seventh graders, so look out for information about that later. All students will also need a black binder with a pencil. Students who are at face-to-face -face will also need a bottle of hand sanitizer that can fit in their case. And of course, students will need their instrument and instrument supplies. The general course objectives for advanced bands include the following. Develop ensemble performance skills. Display, perform proper instrumental technique. Knowledge and use of music theory. Develop critical listening skills. Broaden self-expression opportunity for cultural growth, develop physical conditioning, develop mental and physical discipline. Course requirements include a continuation to increase and refine the fundamentals taught in beginning band, demonstration of knowledge in music theory and rhythms, execution of major and chromatic scales, creation of an electronic portfolio through Canvas daily and major work, auditions for band placement, Participation in both the classroom and in concerts, possible performance in UIL concert and sight reading contests, and ensemble performances as required. Please refer to the student handbook about grading policy for 6th through 8th grade. Major grades are 55% and daily grades are 45%. We are in the process of learning music for our first concert of the year. Our goal is to send out a virtual performance of our bands for our fall concert and progress to our holiday concert, which is set for December 8th in the ORMS gym. Please look on RMS Band website, oakrimband.com, to see the band calendar for the remainder of the school year. Hi, my name is Mr. Alvarado. I'm the teacher of the Wind Ensemble and Honor Band Percussion. Um, I also co-lead the 7th grade Honor Band and the Symphonic Band, and um, I'm happy to work with the kids this year. Uh, we were asked to use Canvas this year by the district, so we're going to take a look at our band Canvas, um, because it may be a little different than other Canvases, so let's watch this next video and check it out. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about Canvas and how we use it in a band. So first off, this is the Canvas app. You should probably put it down here in your toolbar, okay? The little red circle thing. Now, in band, um, it's going to take you to the home page, and this will have all of your classes over here on courses, right? So you're going to click on your corresponding band class. We have a little template here, and the way it's going to work is we have a home page, okay? And you can read this if you want to, but it kind of explains how it works every unit we have is going to be two weeks worth of classes okay so we're gonna have five lessons in that unit um, if you're not sure like on a date you can click on the unit so the first day of class is gonna be lesson one which is either the 24th or the 25th depending on if you're a or a B day okay so you can check the date if you're not sure what lesson one means right there on top and we're basically gonna give you an outline of what we're gonna do in class okay 
I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at lesson two real quick because it has some videos. So lesson two is this tape. It's the next couple days. And the way it's going to work is, if you'll see, remote learner Zoom link. Um, those are for the remote learners. Every day, um, the remote learners are going to have a link to click on to zoom into the class. Okay? And if you see red remote learners, remote is red. So if you see red ink, that probably applies to you mostly. Okay? Um, we're going to be doing a lot of the same things in class. So how to sit in band, we would watch that video in class together, but the remote learners need to watch it at home on their own. And if you click these little blue links, all these blue, um, baby blue links are important because there's something you have to go view. Okay? So this tells you how to sit in band. All right? So all these videos we would watch the first day. We even have links right here to like lessons if you're interested. You can click on that and it'll take you to our lessons page on our website and you can kind of check out, you know, what the lesson situation is, okay? Next thing we need to talk about on this page is our assignment. So there's always going to be an assignment pretty much every day for both remote and in-class learners and you're going to do the same assignment. So like right here, it says unit 1 lesson 2 theory note submission. So what we would do is we click on it, read the instructions. Um, it's not open yet because we're not there on the day yet. So that's how you get to the assignment for that day, okay? And that's pretty much how you navigate through the important things for um, Canvas. Now, another way you can look at things, so that's our home button. You can go to pages if you want to. And pages is going to list like lesson one and lesson two. It'll list all the lessons that we have, okay, that are going to be coming up or that were before. So you can do that if you want to. You can also view just the assignments that are due. So like we have a lesson one assignment and a lesson two assignment. And it doesn't have all that other stuff included. You can also go to module if you want. And this will kind of list everything that we've talked about. So this will be the page up here. The module section is a little confusing. I would try to stay away from it unless you know kind of how to navigate it. But pages is the place to go. Okay. That has everything you need. So if you go to pages and you click on the right day, August 24th or August 26th, whatever day we're on. Boom, you have our lessons for the day. And that's kind of how we're going to navigate through Band Canvas. Thanks. The 7th grade honor band and win ensemble Brass and Woodwinds will not be attending Zooms regularly. We will let students know ahead of time if they're going to need to attend a Zoom. All Woodwind and Brass students who attend Zoom remotely will be completely asynchronous and follow their lessons for the day on Canvas. All percussionists and symphonic band students will continue to come into the Zoom class on A days as their, at their assigned time. Attendance will be taken for each period. The ORMS band directors will follow the guidelines set by administration here at Oak Run. The best form of communication is through email. If you have not received any emails from us, please let us know. You can find our emails on our Oak Run band website so we can add you to our list. Emails will be sent out um, through Monday mail and they include stuff about concerts, updates, and anything you need to know. Now that I've gone through the general talking points, let's talk a little bit about our advanced bands. All students should be taking their instruments home to practice. First of all, at this time, we do not have indiv individual spaces for students to practice here at school to complete videos and assignments. All recordings and videos must be completed at home. It is important for students to practice what they have learned daily. Remote students should also make sure that they're doing their theory or rhythm work every day they have class and watching all videos in the lessons. If your child is interested in private lessons, please visit the Oak Run Band website. There's a little tab that says private lessons and you can visit, click whatever instrument your child plays and see all the contact info for the private lesson teacher. You will need to contact them directly. We've had a wonderful school year so far with our students and we're looking forward to teaching them this year. Go Unicorns!